there were two things that brought politicians, athletes, reporters, and jazz musicians together on Broad Street, New Orleans in 1965. Sizzling steaks and sidecars. All types of characters gathered around the table and the bar of the first Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Governors, council members, and judges made deals over martinis and under the table. Jazz musicians like Fats Domino held court over 500 degrees sizzling plates. Reporters cavorted and eavesdropped with stiff Manhattans in hand. And the house phone rang as wives called to see if their husbands were there, enjoying anything more than the fine cuisine. The love of the best steak in town was not the only reason customers flocked to her restaurant. It was a place to get away, or sneak away. Ruth shrewdly surrounded certain tables with wooden walls and green curtains, creating a section of infamous private tables for a more intimate dining experience. After waitresses accidentally disturbed too many private moments, Ruth installed light switches outside of these booths. For service, customers turned their light on. When they wanted to be left alone, they turned it off and closed the curtain. It's no wonder the steakhouse was voted the sexiest restaurant in New Orleans. At five foot two, Ruth stood tall among the sometimes motley crowd and stood up to those who threatened her or her restaurant. One night after closing up, she was even shot in the shoulder out on the sidewalk when a robber tried unsuccessfully to steal her purse. Instead of abandoning the Broad Street location, Ruth simply hired an off-duty police officer for extra security and bought herself a gun. Racial rivalry, gender strife, and political protests permeated the city, but Ruth welcomed everyone, from hardworking folks to elected officials on the tape. Her sizzling steaks became the perfect centerpiece for making plans, sharing secrets, and telling tall tales. And half a century later, you better believe the tradition continues. <laughs>